This week's episode of the Peter Montgomery Show is proudly brought to you by Savvy SME. Simply smarter, simply social, the social network for Australian business owners. Well, good day, guys. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Okay, so um, so we've got this is the first time I've done a, a dual sort of interview. So I've got Shilpa and a tool and um now these guys have created something really awesome i've gone in and set up my profile something called yes course and uh so guys so shilpa first um could you just talk a little bit about yes course and and what you were doing at the time that kind of prompted prompted it to come about and then we'll dig into the tech specs later on with our tool okay um so basically i I'm a natural therapist and I specialize um, mostly in educating budding practitioners, you know, in their professional development and setting them up their own practices and mentoring them along the way. And so ba- so what my vision was when I had um, my son, my vision was to actually start off something where I could do from home online and reach out to all my audience all across um, Australia at that particular moment. So. That was when I think um, we spoke and Atul created a platform for me to be able to do that. So to be able to uh, put, you know, so that I have a global audience, I have something where I have, I can have something where I can say, I can train people, I can mentor them, I can teach them all sitting in my home uh, so that I can be around my baby. So that was how actually the the whole idea of um this whole online infrastructure was created. Okay, so so what are you doing? Like, so you you with your your natural therapy training and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. uh, how are you training them around the globe? Like, what is the the system that Atul created actually doing for you? What's inside it? What do you, what have you put there? Okay, so the first thing which started was the mentoring platform. Okay. So what happens on that platform is I have a it's like a mastermind program where I have a group of practitioners all across. Um, uh, Australia and also from other countries and they come in and they have problems in their cases or difficult cases in their practice where they want my suggestions and advice on and also they want to connect with other practitioners who are at the same stage of practice as where they are. So what happened was there was a program called Argentum Mentoring Program which was created where they had a system where they could put in their own cases and everyone else could have a look at their cases, I would put in my suggestions and others around in the community could also put in their suggestions and together that particular practitioner who put in that their case or their problem or query could get suggestions from everyone and there would be some wonderful brainstorming which happened on there so that they could take away something and offer it to their clients. So that was the basic format of the mentoring platform. And then resources started getting added on it. So I I put in a course in there, a video course through the the whole year when they are in the program. So they could get resources and educational material coming in through that uh, different times of the year. And then there was a discussion forum on there. So, you know, there were lots of different resources which got added on to that basic mentoring platform. And it became such a wonderful place for practitioners to nurture each other, get advice from mentors and actually um, work with the clients in the best possible way. So that was exactly what was created to start off with. Okay. What I love about it is you created it just out of, you needed to use something, you needed to put something together and it kind of it came out of an actual need that you personally had. Exactly. And so then now you've created, you've got your video course in there. It, it's grown out into all proportions. Now, exactly. Atul, when, could you just talk a bit about like the, the different stages as it came to be, as, how, where it started and, and where it's got to sort of to where it is now? Can you talk, yeah, just about a bit of the technical side of things and some, maybe some challenges you faced putting a, a system like that together? Yeah. Well, it, it basically, as in to... to to say it in a few words is, well, it just happened. We just went along with the flow and just decided to give it a go, really. That's, that's how it actually happened. Now, as you has already mentioned, we came up with this, this need of ours to be with our baby, to, to do some things that we could do um, from our homes without having to travel too much. That was the basic driver behind all of this. Like At that time, I was in a full-time job. Shiva was a, a full-time uh, mom, mom staying at home, <laughs> staying at home. And we both wanted to do something um, which could help us grow financially and 
and also meet our own emotional needs to, to teach uh, and, to, and to improve other people's lives along the way. So uh, when Shilpa mentioned that, yes, she has a group of people who are interested in learning from her, at that time we said, okay, how can we do this without having to then hire places and going out to places and then teaching people and, and, all, and everything that's associated with it. So what um, I came up with at that time was it was a platform, a mentoring platform, which allowed Shilpa to um, basically allowed other people to put in their problems and then Shilpa could come in and come in with her solution or, or advice to that. That was how we started off. That was the mentoring platform. So in that actually went off very well. Yeah. She, she, had, she already had a group of people who were interested and we mm -hmm. got them in there uh, and we converted everything onto an online platform so that people had to log in and each had their own private login and they could post in their private uh, cases and, and then Shilpa could come up with, with her solution or, or her advice of what to do next. Um, we kept doing that for a while. Yeah. Uh, what we found out of that, though, was, um, and we're still doing it, and Shilpa's still running that very successfully, is that it still needs Shilpa's input within a certain turnaround time. Mm -hmm. Right. So it again, we thought, is there something we could take this to the next level where it becomes even easier to 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 convey our message and and to help out people. So that's where we came across the idea of having a course platform yeah. where, where we, it's a bit different to a mentoring platform where a mentoring platform is more like a mastermind pro platform where people are, uh, nothing happens until a question is asked really. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, that's the questions and the, yeah. the cases are driving. That until platform. somebody has a problem and yeah. they are actually motivated enough to actually put the pro problem onto the platform clearly. Uh, and boldly, um, they will not get any benefit out of it. Mm. So that's, that suits a certain type of person very well, but it doesn't suit everybody. Mm. Then we have the other type of person who wants to sit back and absorb information coming at them. So what we decided to do was to create a platform which will allow that to happen as well, where we could have pre-recorded pieces of information which we could place on it, so in the, in the form of video, in the form of audio, in the form of um, presentations or any other document, um, and then people could come in and get that information at their own pace whenever they had time and do it as many times as they wanted to till, till they got it right. Mm -hmm. And then have the opportunity to also interact where, okay, this is not, if, if there was something in there which was not clear to them, they could come back and ask a question. So we wanted all that to happen online without us having to be present there in real time. But that was the main thing. Mm -hmm. So we thought of doing things like webinars. But again, the, the thing with webinars, again, is you need to be at a certain point of time with a certain type of infrastructure all working properly and everybody else's infrastructure working properly at the same time. So and, 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 that, and the struggle of getting everybody there at the same time. Is, yes. Yeah, we yeah. have the struggle of mostly being there ourselves, then ensuring that everybody else who's equally interested is there at the same time, and then there are other technological problems to solve. Something is going to go wrong at some point. You need a team to run a webinar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, so that's how this, this, this platform was born, where we created this platform so that it's easy for the content producer to produce their content in their time, whenever you have time. So whenever Shilpa had time working from home, having the baby around, and with, with, with Smith now going to school, whenever she has time, she can now produce content. Yeah. yeah. And she can upload it to the platform. And at some other point when she has the, the time, energy, and inclination to market it, she then goes and markets it, and people then purchase it. And then whenever they have the time, inclination uh, to, to actually do it, they go ahead and do it. And so it all fits together very well without everybody, all the planets having to align. Really. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Now, now just want to hold, hold on there for a second, because this, I reckon, suits a certain kind of person. This is perfect for 
this sounds perfect for me. Yeah, you know, I got kids. I got it seems like a million kids at different times. But yeah, I got four kids, and yeah, making videos and t- you're trying to juggle all this stuff. Just real life. This sounds like a real life system that people can use. Can you talk about the first course that you created? Um, just using it, like the, when you first put a course together. What was that little course that you made? And talk a little bit about some of the results when you first put that course in. Like what happened? Okay. So the first course which I put in was basically a training, a teaching course, a particular part of, um, so it was a course especially for homeopathic practitioners to be able to um, fine tune a particular part of their case taking process. And so when that idea came up of really putting in something to train some of the people in the mastermind program and also the general uh, practitioners, the community which I have, those who want to do that fine tuning and learn something much more and you know with their skills so it started off like let's do something for a period of about six months and let's give that information um through a case through cases i've done in my own um practice and those successful cases and share my thought process as i go through the process of consulting a client so it was very interactive And it was also something which I was sharing information the way I do as I see that patient every week or every, um, you know, in a period of time and go through that process every week with my um, audience. And so every week I I created around 20 to 30 minutes of content of what happened next. Mm -hmm. So there was this thing about they got that information, they had some work to do within that week and come back with some answers or come back with what they thought about it. And so the next one came up with the answer and it was like an aha for them. Wow, so this was what I was thinking of and this was what Shilpa was thinking of. And, you know, then the question. So it was really a very interesting thing of, you know, we connected and we went through that whole six-month process and, and I got feedback through my and you know people came up at different times they not necessarily came in that one day of the week they could come anytime during the week do their homework put their answers out there down in the discussion forum and then I put in what I thought and it was like a surprise every week was a surprise for them when you know they came up with all right what's happening next what's the next remedy she's giving or what's the next follow-up that's going to happen and I think the course went on quite well and I enjoyed it a lot because I was doing those videos as you know I saw those uh, clients and they were watching it as if something happening in you know it was like very dynamic for everyone and they loved it and the feedback I got was really overwhelming. They loved the process. There was, it was very different for them for a change. And it was like, it was also because they could um, learn a lot. And the, the most important thing people told me, the pace was very good. Um, they said those 20, 30 minutes of content was enough for them to, you know, think about the process for that particular week and they came exactly at the time when they wanted it and so everything worked very well for that and that inspired me to get in touch with other experts in my domain and then create a course with them so then I created the next course with uh, another expert in the same field and his course is running it's just um, so he created a three-month course and it went really well we had many more people and it was I think he had a group of 35 people and uh, that was the first cohort and he enjoyed it so it was someone else who is not doing it and I was just the facilitator and I think that worked very well and I think it will just go on for me it's a it's a wonderful process to actually follow through for everyone it works for every one of us yeah that, that sounds really awesome I really love that whole interactivity like the you do it and you learn from the the last one that you do so when you go to do the next video did you feel that it was you were getting sort of better and more intuitive each time you released a new video, kind of dialing in more of what they needed and they were kind of getting more out of it. Did you find that? Exactly, because every time there was a communication happening, the next video was based on what was, you know, the, the process. It wasn't something which I made up and I've put it out there. It happened as it went along. So I could make some changes as, you know, what I thought. I didn't make all those, um, you know, how many videos were there for those six months all at the same time. Mm. We did about one month of videos to start off with and then they just happen and the course turned out the way 
the people wanted it to be. That's oh. awesome. Like that, that, I really like that. So the people that are, that are going to come in and create a course, they don't have to think, oh, no, and be just overwhelmed. It's like, okay, like, you can just get started and then develop yeah. it as you need to, like, exactly. rather than being, oh, that's awesome. I really love it. Yeah. So now what were the challenges at all in putting that together as you had other people coming in to use it? Because working together, you two could nut things out. Yeah. yeah what sort of happened with the other person, the third party in there then? Well, the... What, what, what I found out was um, everybody has a different um, view towards, for example, technology. We'll just take one thing, which is technology, as in using computers, being familiar with computers, um, and actually using them. So everybody has a different perspective at this of the same object. And, um, and so the challenge for me was to make the system such that to the extent possible, it should be possible to for almost anybody to use it. That was my first challenge. Mm. And that was the greatest challenge. It's um, to make things simple is quite complex. So, that's, <laughs> and especially if you've got a technical mind. Yeah. So, so that 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 has been the ch the challenge, and I uh, I wouldn't claim that it's solved yet. Mm. It's going to be an ongoing process forever, I would say, but. That is the main thing, to make it as simple as possible for anyone, whether they are, um, whether they like interacting with technology or not, whether, uh, whether they have been using technology for a long time or not, whether they want to use technology or not. Hmm. So that's been the greatest challenge, to be able to cater for, uh, for all those type of all type of people. Okay, and what are some of the things you've you've figured out that makes something simple, something complex simple? Yes. Uh, well, the the one of the main things would be to to not try to do too many things, to not have the thing do too many things. Mm. So even if we have an idea that okay, if it if it could do this, 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 and this, it would be such a fantastic thing. Unless more than 80% of the people are going to need it, yeah. it's usually not worth it. It is just going to come in the way. Mm. So that's, that's, the, that's I would say, like the principle. If it's not going to be useful for more than 80% of the people who are going to use it, it's probably not worth it. Yeah, yeah. And, and I could see too, like as you're building this and people are interacting with it more and more, and, and it, yeah, naturally everything develops. Like Facebook always changes, you know, that's never fixed. Nothing's ever fixed. Yeah. Um, so... The, the good thing is then, I guess, because it's a type, an interactive type of site, there's going to be a lot of ways that people can say, hey, what if we do this? Or I think this is too much. Or you've got Absolutely. direct communication with you guys. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. And that's, that's the thing. As in, we want this to be uh, something that, that is useful to, to most people, which allows them to uh, use it to achieve whatever, whatever it is that they want to achieve without it being in the way. So my ideal platform, if it, if it ever gets created that way, would be something that is not even actually noticeable to you. Yeah. It's just something that you have, like a pen that you use. A good pen is the one that you don't even notice you're writing with. So that's the kind of thing I would like it to be. Yeah, yeah, the simplicity. I think that's, that's, that's the key there is that it needs to be simple to use because people might have a good training course, they might have great information, but they don't necessarily video savvy they're not necessarily internet savvy but i mean if you, if you can get online get onto google and find some stuff then that's probably the the amount of skills that you need and if you can use an <laughs> iphone to make a video yeah you're, you're off and running yeah. absolutely yes so what's your vision with this like where, where do you guys want to take it either one can sort of answer this um where do you see this going because i, I think it's fantastic i'm, I'm going to use it and uh, we'll talk about how the mechanics of getting getting involved in, and using this because I love it. I love the the the, uh, the model that you've have, have devised. So yeah, what's the vision of this? Where do you see this going? Who do you see using it in the future um, uh, down the track? Here, what kind of businesses? So I, I just step back a little bit. Is yeah. where, as we've already said, this was made to enable Shilpa to run her own courses. That's how it began. Right. So as we went along. Um, the courses were successful. Yes, we made money. Uh, we, uh, Shilpa had, ha, has lots of students 
and, and, and she gets lots of satisfaction doing it. Mm. Along the way, what, what, one of the things that uh, we realized was there are going to be so many people in the world who have something to share. Now, a personal belief that I have is that every single person in the world has something to teach, to share, to teach the rest of the world. Every single person. Mm. And with the way technology currently is and the way it's going, the barriers to be able to do that are coming down. However, when I look around on the internet, there is no one place where you can just go, okay, I've got something to teach in a structured fashion. This is how I do it. Yes, you have things like YouTube and you can write a blog and you can do all of that, but to make a proper professional structured course, there, is, there are very few platforms which allow you just anyone to come in. Mm. Right? Now, there are two things. One is the fact that you need to be able to do it. So a platform that allows you to do it. And the second is, what, is there any artificial barriers to entry? Whereas, does the, the platform choose who gets to and doesn't get to put a course on there? So, while there are platforms which are quite simple to use and allow and, and theoretically make, make it possible to any, for anybody to put a course on there, the thing that I wanted to change was there should be a platform which allows absolutely anyone mm -hmm. to put up a course whether I agree with what they're teaching or not, mm -hmm. whether anyone else agrees with it or not, whether, whether I think it's relevant to teach or not. Yeah. It's not, my job is not to control what goes out. My job is to provide the platform. Mm. And that's where I want to keep it. It sounds simple, but it is actually, uh, it's one of the points that, um, people, some people might not be very comfortable with. Yeah. And how so? So to explain that a bit. Is that it, the, the, the closest analogy I would put is, 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 is democracy. Mm. The, the current systems are, are more like monarchy, where, where a certain elite group are privileged and are enabled to give out information. So whether that whether that comes from having a degree or ha having the right kind of um, access to the right kind of infrastructure or whatever that is. Whereas in a democratic system, anyone is eligible to stand up and say, I'm going to stand for office. You have the right to do so. Right? Doesn't matter what your qualifications are. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether anybody else thinks you are the right person or not. Yeah. You have the right to go and stand up and say, I want to be elected to office. Right? What happens after that is, is a different thing. But you have the right to actually stand. And so the analogy with education is, uh, my, one of my core beliefs is that everybody has something to teach. And so I want to have this platform that allows absolutely anybody to stand up and say, here is what I've got. Mm. here's what I've got to teach you. I sincerely believe that this is going to be useful to you. And that's why I have stepped up and dared to stand up here and deliver this. Yeah, yeah. So, And also, um, I guess, another barrier is the financial barrier. Like, or even knowing, like, I wanted to do a course. Like, this is something that I wanted to do. And then I met Shilpa at uh, Dev Singh's uh, event the other week, or yeah. probably going back maybe even about a month ago now. Um, so, and we were talking about this and I was just got excited about it. That's why I was like, got to get you on here and talk about it because I want you to talk now about the model because yeah, like you're saying, it's the democratic model, but also it's the availability. You don't need to have any money to get started and create your course. And so I, I wanted to create a course and I don't know, I was thinking, oh, where do you even go? I haven't got the money to put that together, you know, to, to go and I don't know, I just pictured that it costs a lot of money to go and hire someone to, to piece the whole deal together. Can you talk a bit about that? That the, the barrier to entry as far as cost is just completely removed. Mm. It's a now, business. How do you get paid doing this? <laughs> well, 
yes, we'll, we'll talk about the business side of things. But if to, to create a course on this platform, if you have access to some technology, as in you have a computer and you have some form of recording things, then that is basically all you need. That is basically it. So there is a barrier, but that is the barrier. The, the level of the barrier is you need to have access to a computer. Right? Basically, if, if you're watching this, you have access to a computer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. So uh, to to use the the pla to to sign into the platform, you, there is no there there are no there are no requirements whatsoever. So all you have to do is sign up, provide provide an email address, and create your own account, and that's it. And you're in. And once you're in, you can now create. You can start creating your courses. In fact, what you can do is you can create an academy. That's what you do. You create an academy. Yeah, yeah. Could, actually, yeah. Let's talk about that. Like, just the kind of the bit of the internal structure, so that people can can maybe get a vision of of what yeah. happens inside. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's talk us through maybe sort of starting a course and, and your academies and, and all those sorts of things. Yeah. And then we'll get onto the business model after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the the, the basic uh, unit of what you create on the platform is an academy. So you've got this academy, which it, in effect is your brand and is your collection of courses. So anybody who creates an account on YesCourse is eligible to create an academy and that academy can then host as many courses as you want. So there, is no, there are no artificial restrictions there. So for example, I, I, your course might be internet marketing is the umbrella. That's my academy of internet marketing. Under that I could have my video course, I could have my article course, my blog, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yes, and you can, you can have something like uh, Peter's Academy, and in there you say, okay, one course is about uh, marketing using Facebook. Hmm. The other course is about, um, in general, the other course is about how to build up mailing list, whatever. So you can have multiple courses under your one academy. Mm -hmm. Or you could have an academy, uh, say a housewife starts, a, starts an academy, and then she says, okay, I'm going to have a course on how to uh, prepare healthy breakfast for your children. So the, it, there is no limit to what you can do with this thing as such. Mm. So going back, you create an academy, and this academy, it's a virtual academy in the internet, which then allows you to host as many courses as you want. So once you've decided, okay, I want to create a course, you go, it's, you click a button and you create a course, you just give it a title and give it some description and you've got a course ready. Now the course itself can have any number of lessons. Yep. So that's the, that's the unit of delivery. So that's what a person uh, who's, who's a client of your course, a user of your course is going to get at one time. That's one lesson. So it will be like, like say a lecture in school or it could be uh, one something. That's the unit. And within each lesson, you can have any number of resources that you want to share. Uh, one of the main resources you would, most people would likely want to have in their lessons is a video. Yeah. So you can have videos. You can have any number of videos actually in each lesson. So you can put up a video of you talking. Um, uh, there's so many ways to create video. As in, depending on what you've got, you could use your uh, smartphone, you could use a laptop, you could use a camcorder, uh, absolutely anything. doesn't yeah. mean how you create it. Um, so if you've got a video, you can upload it and attach it to a lesson. Uh, you can upload... Um, worksheets, you can, up, you can upload documents, PDF documents, Word documents, text files, absolutely any, any, anything that, that gets stored on the computer you can upload and you can make it available to your students as part of that lesson and you can have any, any number of such lessons in your course. Now, you can now, th then there's, 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 there's lots of things you can do and how you want to deliver the course. Uh, the platform takes care of the delivery, so it's you can say, okay, I want this course to run over a period of three months, with the students getting one lesson every week. So that's that's basically like three clicks. You just select all of that, and that's done. And the platform will now automatically ensure that each of the lessons that you created in this course get delivered to students as they join, in the order that you specified. In the schedule that you specify. So that's all automated. It's like check the box. Check that's the box. It. all you have to do is check the box. You just have to say weekly, one lesson every week for the next three months, and that's it. Yep. And it'll it'll happen. So all so all you need to do is.
create those lessons. Yeah. You create those lessons up front before the course begins. You can create the lessons as the course is progressing. And the beauty of it is that um, unlike a live event, once you've created it, it's now there forever. There is no restriction on how many students you can get at what time. You can continue to, 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 um, to promote this course and get new students for years. Mm. So once you've done it, you can count, you, students can come in at any time and they all automatically get, get the course in the, in the way that you've, you want it to be um, distributed to them. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Now, it's in terms of housing the videos, um, Shilpa, what, how are you delivering, how are you doing your video? So you've made your video, you put it in, like yeah. I'm thinking like, you know, what, what platform, like YouTube or, or you know, what, how does it work? Because YouTube generally are out there for free unless you yeah. select them to be uh, private. Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. How, does the, how do the videos actually get on there? Okay, so we created the video on our server. It yeah. wasn't um, through YouTube. But obviously, when I write my blogs, it is through YouTube. So I just basically used a presentation mode. I used my um, webcam, used Camtasia, and it was basically a screen capture, and that's how my videos. They were very basic. There was no technology. I just sat in my clinic room, and I um, spoke in front of the camera. Yeah. Um, that was how it was. You know, I'm not yeah. a very technical person, and I think that's helpful because then he can actually simplify it. If I can do it, anyone can. That's the yeah. whole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you you make your video. You've got your file now. Like so I'm saying, like maybe a QuickTime file or, or whatever. How you save it? How do you put that file inside of Yes Course? Because this is this is just my personal question. I'm thinking, yeah. how do I get my videos in there? The analogy I would give you is if you've ever sent an email with an attachment. Yep. That's basically the process. So basically, the files themselves, the raw video file, gets attached inside of Yes Course. So the lesson, so you create the lesson. So the lesson is like the email that you create. Yeah. So you, your email client, say Gmail or wherever you say, compose email. So here you would say, create lesson. Yeah. And you would write about it. So you could put a description of what what that lesson is all about and what it is. And then just like you put attachments to your emails, you yeah. put resources. So you say, okay, this is going to have a video. So you simply get add attachment, or add resource in this case yep. and I'll say okay you'll bring up the box to show where is where is this video file on your computer you just look at it yeah say, that same old stuff and, yep. it gets, and it gets uploaded exactly and it's there Done. And it's all right cool so you don't even need to house them somewhere else and then attach it no, no so like all, all, steps are completely all of it for you it does it all for you so if you have already have videos on youtube for example you can use those and put them onto the the platform is is will get them from youtube and put and put show them, them show them up as part of the lesson, if that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. So you, you, the the possibilities you can even just create free lessons and bring people over to it to view exactly. it for free is like you're not that's, necessarily that's charging and, and hiding them from uh, behind a password or anything. So you got yeah. the, those options. You, yeah, you don't have to do all of that. The platform takes care of all of those those issues that's for you. So cool, man. That's so cool. So yeah, um, how does that work for you guys then? Like, because uh, I know because if I make a course in there, right? And say, for example, I say, yeah, a simple five-week how to do YouTube video marketing program. I, I make a course, I put it in there, it's uploaded, and now how do I get people to pay for that? So there's options in there to like add like a PayPal button or something like that. Is there? What we'll talk a bit about now, that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, as I said, to to sign up and to create an academy, create a course, create all of that, there is there is no investment from your side as far as the platform goes. So there is nothing you have to do there. So you create the course and all of that. Now, if you want to give away this course for free, and there are lots of people in the world who just want to teach, then there is nothing more for you to do. right? So the platform is now completely free for you to use. You give away the course for free, you structure it, structure it the way you want, all of it is there. On the other hand, there are people who want to make, who want to charge people for their courses, and that's fantastic. Mm. Now, the platform allows you to do this seamlessly because this platform has built in all the, the facilities that you need to collect payments from people, do all the administrative work behind the scenes. So basically, all you have to do is when you create a course, you first of all select whether it's going to be a free course or a paid course. If it is a paid course that you've made, at some, uh, before you publish it, 
you basically just put in the price. You say, I want to charge X dollars for, for, for every student that joins this course. That's all you need to do. Hmm. When, then the platform, it knows that this course is a paid one. When, it, when, it, when, when somebody comes to the, to the course page and looks at, okay, this looks like an interesting pay, this look, looks like an interesting course, uh, there will basically be a buy now button. It's already there automatically. And all you have to do is click on the buy now, put in their place, put in their payment details, and, and then they're in and they've got the course. And it collects payments and... It collects payments and distributes it to, to you. And it does all of that. So the yeah. platform does all of that. Wow, man, that's awesome. So how do you, how do you guys, so you, you've set that up, right? You've, you've created, you've obviously worked on this a long time, put a lot of thought into it yeah. to, to strip it down to be what it needs and then sort of build on to, to that whole situation. How do you guys then get paid to kind of fund it? Because yeah, a business's purpose is to create money so it can stay in business to keep mm-hmm. doing the thing that it's doing. So otherwise, you know, your businesses go out of business. Okay. Everyone who's watching this show, you, you know what I'm talking about. So how do you guys actually get paid uh, for for running this system, yeah, the the business model itself is quite simple. Um, every course that gets sold, every paid course, as as we've just been talking about, the the course creator gets seventy percent of the revenue, mm. and thirty percent is the commission that we charge to to host and provide all the infrastructure and doing all the back end stuff. So that's it. That's the it's it's as simple as that. So you can. Uh, you can set up a course for free, yep. right? You, you put it all together, put on that. You can give it away for free if you want and never even touch, have to pay for the system. So you can just get in there and use it and uh, put your expertise out to the world. Yep. Uh, you can decide to, to take payment, which is all done inside it, and you only pay for using all this stuff and having your course set up there and, and having it available. You only pay if you get paid from someone else. So essentially, you're not even paying money for it. It's just you just you just decide I want to collect this much money and add thirty percent on top of that, and yeah. then you can do that and you you just sort of skim off only what gets sold. That's awesome. That's that's basically it. Yeah. yeah. That's so. unreal. That's <laughs> meant that that has removed every barrier anyone has ever had in the world of ever going out and teaching and creating a course and doing it. See, for me, I don't want to go public speaking. It just takes up time from your family, exactly same situation. You want to be around your family and do, do the family thing, but still have a business and, and be kind of active with your community. This is perfect. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. The, the thing is that to, to, to remain true to my vision, it, as I said, my vision basically is to remove all barriers to people putting themselves in front of the world and, and, and having a go at teaching other people. So... Uh, that's 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 essentially what what I want to what I want to achieve. So along the way, if people have have courses that are 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 good enough for people to pay, that's when I get paid. <laughs> and, um, and and I'm sure that and there are so many people around the world who have s- such fantastic stuff out there. Uh, as in, I have no doubt that. Uh, that the business model works as such. I have absolutely, I have zero doubt that it works, and I am willing to give it a go. And um, all, all I'm looking for are other people who are willing to let it, to give it a go, and having the courage to create the course and put it out there. That's exactly. that's what I I expect other people to do is just to have the courage, create the course, put it out there. It's all there for you. That's awesome. And the beauty the beauty of this is that it's been tested in practice with with Shilpa. You, yep. It was created so you could have this thing, and then yes. you went, "Oh, this looks good." So then you actually made it available to others and developed it from being in action, which is different than a lot of people go. How can I make money? I'm going to go off and I'm going to create this thing and then kind of put it out to market, yeah. as is. Like, I love it. I love this thing, man. So where can people uh, actually go and get onto Yes Course? Like, what's the the web address? Uh, it's yescourse.com. So y e s c o u r s e dot com. Yeah. That's it. Just go there. And uh, you'll see a register button. Just click on it and register, and off you go. <laughs> this is this is unreal. I love it. So I've already gone in and got my got started, um, set up my profile in there, put my story in there, uh, and everything like that. So yeah, in in time, I'm going to be delivering videos uh, and, and create little courses, and um, yeah, having a go at, at seeing just like firsthand how it works and seeing what happens. Might make a free course. Might sort of test it out this is awesome guys listen i'm going to put a link down below to yes course you can click on it straight away right now so look for it just under this video or if you're actually on the 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 show site itself 
Uh, click on it, go register and, and get started. Share it with your friends. Tell everyone about it because this is awesome. Thank yeah. you. Thank Thanks you so much, Peter. It was wonderful. Yeah, and it is a, I think it's a beautiful process. I mean, once you get on, you get hooked. It's like you, know, you I'm, I'm making my second course uh, and I'm promoting other people who want to get their courses on there. And, you know, no wonder, like the academy just flows because people love it. So, yeah. yeah. And it's interactive. It's a community builder. That's another thing I love. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What, one of the things that I wanted to mention um, is I've talked about lowering all the barriers. And, and getting people off. I do recognize the fact though that there will be people out there who might not be capable of doing all of it themselves. So one of the things that I'm working on now really is creating the ecosystem mm -hmm. where Yes Course is not simply just a platform where people upload courses to, but it provides a community of people who are there to help as well. So if somebody needs help in creating a course, I want people out there to, to be able to give that help in whatever form that might be. So people might want help in um, setting up their, tech, their, their computers and using them. They might, have, they might need help in, uh, say, if they're making a video course, then editing the videos and getting them uploaded. Um, some people might have um, needs in creating the content itself. Yeah, so where, that's so. where people like you come, you know, because you are the content creator. So that would be another way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent, man. Because and that's it. Uh, it's, it is a community where you can actually go in, create a course, but get help in creating your course with even within the like. What well, I like what you termed it as the ecosystem. So um, that that's an awesome thing as well that you can actually get the help you need to create the course so that you can then create the course and go and share it with the world. Yes. That's right. Awesome. And then it also becomes a platform for other people to, to help other people uh, voluntarily or professionally, however they want to do that. Um, there, there's, there's, there's room for everyone, really. So what I see is um, really an ecosystem with, with people, lots of people using the platform, lots of people um, also obviously making money out of the platform, not simply by just selling courses, but also by helping other people make courses, by helping other people uh, market their courses, by helping other people spread the world or, or whatnot. There's, there's, uh, there's so many facets to the whole thing um, that, yeah, isn't that? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it, it's, it becomes like a forum and a community of business, businesses doing business to business, you know, that, 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 type, that type of uh, situation. That's awesome. Yeah. That's right. And, I, and while all of that is happening, it still has to remain accessible to absolutely anybody. Yeah. And so that's something you're going to stick to the whole time. You're never, ever going to charge people to ever come in and start a course and get it going. That is, that is, the, that is, that is my core, the, the core of my belief to, to get that allows anybody to, to have their voice heard. So whatever it takes to have that um, happen to the best of my abilities is what, what, what we'll do. Excellent, man. That's tops. That's unreal. All right, guys, it's been uh, awesome having you on. It's, it's been awesome having my first two people interview. It <laughs> presents its own challenge for me. So this has been heaps of fun. I've learned a lot. Um, so thanks, guys, for coming on and sharing your message. And uh, yeah, guys, jump in, click on the link and uh, get on to Yes Course. It's awesome. All right, guys, you make it a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thank you thanks so much, so much Peter. Peter. Lovely connecting with you. <laughs>